Good evening. It's a public forum that's giving a voice to transit riders across the city of Toronto on a service that still needs improving tonight. The TTC heard from its customers on what the transit agency can and should do to improve accessibility. In the crowd at Exhibition Place is a first-time attendee of the TTC's public forum on accessibility. Bob is a proud transit customer. It's more of a hassle when I have to... Uh book for wheel trans, you know. Tell me why you don't like to use wheel trans. Oh, well, you have to book it, book in advance. Rosa is a longtime attendee of the public forums, and like Bob, she also has had troubles navigating wheel trans, a service for transit users with disabilities that requires them to reserve rides in advance. Especially in the weekdays, mm -hmm. long wait sometimes. How, what's the longest you've ever been on wait? An hour. An hour, wow. That's not good. But it's getting better. The head of Wheeltrans at the TTC confirms Rosa's beliefs. Things are improving. So the wait time now, the most recent month in August was an average of 1.6 minutes for the month. So we were as high as way over an hour, and now we're averaging all the way down to 1.6 minutes. It's because Wheeltrans has implemented some changes. Late last year, the transit agency launched a new website for reservations that would help their 43,000 customers book rides on their own instead of relying on an agent over the phone. Next, a new mobile app that would introduce multiple features, including allowing customers to check wait times. It has improved quite a bit in the last couple of years. Part of the 10-year plan is to also integrate Wheeltrans with the rest of the TTC services, streetcars, buses and subways as the TTC is required to be fully accessible by the year 2025. I have to tell you, I wasn't sure we were going to do it, but I'm pretty confident today that we will. That was the vice chair of the TTC board tonight who told the crowd as of today, 40% of subway stations are accessible. By the end of the year, all streetcar routes and vehicles will be wheelchair friendly, and new elevators have been installed, and more are coming. Our TTC system has become much more accessible. You know, 10, 15 years ago, you weren't able to get on a bus because there were stairs. You weren't able to get on a streetcar uh, or get into many of our stations. This evening, TTC employees met face to face with transit users who had the opportunity to express their concerns, ask questions, and even put forward their own solutions to problems they face. And the feedback these last 12 years has been a great help to the TTC. So many changes have happened as a result of these meetings. Nedra's hope? She wants accessible transit beyond just Toronto, an integrated network across the GTA. I am longing that York and uh, York Region and WeTrans can become one so that we don't have to transfer between both of them. In previous years, the TTC has received over 200 comments at these public forums. The feedback collected here today will be reviewed by staff and departments will be providing responses where necessary on the TTC's website.